Hello and welcome to Frontrunner Motorsport. Swedish superstar Johan Christoffersson has won a lot of different race series. Over the years he has won on the track and on dirt, but the series that really made his career was the 2012 International V8 Superstars series. This series sent him into the big time. As we come to an end of a special week celebrating hitting 500 subscribers, I just want to thank you all for your support. And if you are not subscribed, hit the button and let's send this channel on its way to 1000. Now let's begin. Johan Christoffersson was the son of Swedish touring car driver and team owner Tommy Christoffersson, who himself had little success in motorsport, outside a couple of wins in touring cars and the European Rallycross Championship, but he clearly inspired son Johan, who has followed a similar career path to his father. Tommy retired at the end of 2008, just as Johan began in 2009. He raced for his father's team in the Swedish Touring Car Championship but scored no points, although he did finish second in the Privateers Championship. He joined the Biogas Volkswagen Scirocco team for 2010 in both Swedish Touring Cars and the Scandinavian Touring Car Cup, again to little success. He spread his wings a bit more in 2011. He finished 10th in the Scandinavian Touring Cars despite only racing in half a season, as well as racing Porsches in various series, finishing runner-up in the Scandinavian Porsche Carrera Cup losing out to Robin Rudholm. So with just a few years of racing and very little success behind him, I don't think anyone would have been able to guess what would happen in 2012, when Johan Christophson's career blew up in a big way and made him the great success he is today. 2012, he dominated everything. Before we get into the International Superstar Series, let's look at all the other successes Johan Christophson had in 2012. He won 8 out of 10 races in the Scandinavian Porsche Carrera Cup Championship to take his first of 3 titles in that series. He took 5 wins in the Scandinavian Touring Car Championship, beating Swedish legend Rickard Rydell and taking Team Biogas to the title. But his greatest success came in the International Superstar Series, and it was one of the best seasons of racing ever in the history of people competing to win stuff. Christofferson was racing for Audi Sport KMS in an RS5. Teammate to successful superstars, former champion Gianni Morbidelli, who was also much more experienced. Other major contenders were former Formula 1 driver Vitantonio Liuzzi, who had fled for Hellscape that was HRT, and was now driving a Mercedes C63 AMG for Cal Racing. Thomas Biaggi in a BMW M3 E92 for Dynamic Motorsport, Dynamic, not Team Dynamics to be clear, the season began in Monza, and it was Vitantonio Liuzzi who took first blood, winning the second race of the day after Max Pigli in a Jaguar won the first. Christofferson fought back in a big way at Imola, taking both wins, the first of which he was clear by 8 seconds. At Donington, Christofferson failed to set a time in qualifying, but managed to climb through the field up to second, behind Morbidelli. The pair finished in the same order in race 2, having started 7th and 8th. Christofferson struggled at Mugello and the Hungaro ring and lost the championship lead to Liuzzi, but the Audi fight back began at Spa. Morbidelli and Christofferson were first and second respectively in race one, and Morbidelli took his fourth win of the year in race two. Christofferson, however, retired from the race, and he had 19 points to make up to get to Vitantonio Liuzzi, with just four races left. Christofferson took pole at Vallelunga and won the first race just ahead of Thomas Schoffler, before dominating the second. Liuzzi only managed 4th and 7th, and Christofferson took back the lead of the championship with a 10 point gap going into the final round at Pergusa. It was a bit of a letdown. Rafael Giamaria came in for just two races and took pole, won both races, and took both fastest laps. Christofferson qualified badly and finished behind Vitantonio Liuzzi in race 1. There were just 6 points between the two drivers going into the final race. Christofferson got taken out by a wild Domenico Calderola and that could have left Vitantonio Liuzzi as champion, but he broke down with just a few laps left and handed the title to Johan Christofferson. There was supposed to be a final round in Indonesia at the Sentul International Circuit, but it was cancelled. If it had gone ahead, then maybe Liuzzi could have got the win, but we will never know. 
After this, Johan Christofferson seems to have won almost every series he has participated in. He was meant to race in the International Series in a Porsche in 2013, but it never happened. He did retain his Porsche Scandinavia title though. In 2014, he took a win in the European Rally Cross Championship. In 2015, he won the Porsche Scandinavia Cup for a third time, whilst also taking a win and finishing third in the World Rally Cross Championship. There are more wins and a Scandinavian Touring Car Championship in 2018, alongside the second of three World Rallycross Championships that included winning 11 of 12 rounds. He took three wins in the World Touring Car Championship in 2019 for Sebastian Loeb Racing, won the Race of Champions Nations Cup alongside Tom Christensen, and so far in 2021 he is chasing down Timmy Hansen as he attempts to take a fourth World Rallycross Championship, whilst also leading in the first ever Extreme E Championship alongside Molly Taylor. Honestly, it seems like he can turn his hand to everything. I don't know what the future holds for Johan Christofferson, but I am almost certain he is going to be adding to his already massive trophy case, and hopefully I can keep adding to my subscriber count. Thank you all so much for helping me reach 500 subscribers. I hope you have enjoyed the content this week looking at the international superstars. It was a great series and I'm glad I've had a chance to talk about it. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a like and a share, thank you for watching and have a good one.